This Wednesday, we are expecting much cooler conditions to spread over the southwestern and central parts of the country behind the school front, also over parts of KwaZulu-Natal, but remaining extremely hot over the eastern regions with heat wave conditions persisting in parts of Limpopo and Mpumalanga. But the school front and upper air drop working together to bring scattered to widespread showers and thunderstorms the next few days over parts of the eastern Cape KwaZulu-Natal and Mpumalanga, where up to 50 millimeters of rain is likely to accumulate up until Thursday evening, with the weather service warning against severe thunderstorms leading to hail, damaging winds, heavy rain and excessive lightning over most of KwaZulu-Natal, especially over the northeastern regions. And then due to a steep pressure gradient, we are expecting damaging winds and waves between Cape Columbine and East London. So here's your forecast. On Wednesday, an onshore flow of air behind the school front will still bring showers to the Southern Cape, but then severe thunderstorms possible into Wednesday afternoon over part of the half Halfalt and KwaZulu-Natal. We can see scattered to widespread showers and thunderstorms possible over parts of KwaZulu-Natal and around the escarpment in Mpumalanga, with the weather service warning against severe thunderstorms leading to hail, damaging winds, heavy rain and excessive lightning. Scattered showers and thunderstorms possible for the surrounding areas into the evening possible over the central and eastern regions of Limpopo. And then scattered showers still possible around the Southern Cape and the adjacent interior with morning showers over the western regions of the Western Cape. Westerly to south westerly winds picking up and blowing strong due to that steep pressure gradient along the southern and the eastern coast. We have a warning in place for damaging waves between Cape Columbine and East London. So please be careful. A windy Wednesday across the country due to the southwesterly to westerly and northwesterly winds blowing fresh. Then fresh winds expected around the city of Cape Town along the west coast and becoming strong over the southern coast of Namibia. A very poor PV harvest over the southwestern parts of the country due to the cloud conditions and due to the stormy conditions. We're expecting a very poor PV harvest over parts of the eastern Cape, Kwasulu Natal, and into the afternoon over the northeastern regions of the country. In the Western Cape, this onshore flow of air bringing cooling conditions and light showers blowing fresh to strong at times. Temperatures only in the lower 20s with 21 in Cape Town and Booster. Scattered showers still possible over the Overberg, the Garner Route and the Little Karoo with temperatures only around 20 degrees Celsius. Cloudy and windy conditions expected in the Karoo temperatures in the lower 20s, with a few light showers possible around Crawfronet and Somerset East. But scattered showers and thunderstorms possible over the eastern regions of the Eastern Cape, with southwesterly winds blowing fresh to strong at times around the eastern coast, and a much cooler afternoon, only 16 in the afternoon in Kua. Widespread showers and thunderstorms possible in KwaZulu-Natal with the weather service warning against severe thunderstorms leading to hail, damaging winds, heavy rain and excessive lightning. We can see the cooler conditions moving in over the southern regions only 20 in the afternoon in Peter Maritzburg, but remaining hot in the north 30 in Ladysmith and Newcastle. Scattered showers and thunderstorms also possible over Mpumalanga. Temperatures in the upper 20s over the half fault, but remaining extremely hot in the low fault with the last day of heatwave conditions 39 in the afternoon in Skut Skakuza 37 in Palaborva, isolated thunderstorms possible in Limpopo becoming scattered into the evening over the central and eastern regions. In northwest, a windy afternoon over the western and central regions, isolated thunderstorms possible in the east and temperatures around 30 degrees Celsius. In the Northern Cape, we are expecting a cold morning with only a for the morning in Sutherland. Later, remaining cold with windy conditions, southwesterly to westerly winds blowing fresh at times, only 6 in the afternoon in Sutherland, Uppington and Portsmouthburg, reaching highs of 25. Also, windy conditions expected in the Free State, especially over the southern and central regions, then isolated to scatter thunderstorms possible over the northern and eastern regions, temperatures in the mid to upper 20s. A warm to hot afternoon in Gauteng with 28 in Johannesburg, 13 in Pretoria, a westerly to northwesterly wind blowing fresh at times, and then isolated thunderstorms possible in the north but becoming scattered in the south. On Thursdays, rainy conditions still expected around the southern and the eastern coast, much cooler conditions now over the eastern part of the country, with heat wave conditions finally over in the low fault, only 18 in the afternoon in Bombela, but warmer weather returning to the west with 31 in the afternoon in Ferendal. On Friday, we are expecting mostly dry conditions across the country. It's a bit warmer now in the east with temperatures in the mid to upper 20s, a sunny afternoon over the central and western regions, and even warmer in the west with, with 36 afternoon in Fredendale, 27 in Cape Town. Well, that's all from me. Stay safe this Wednesday and remember, no matter the weather, we're in this together.